Does your game stutter and freeze at the worst moments? Yes. Don't worry, because I've got a few settings to get your game working smoothly and without issue. When I first started playing the game, I used to have to deal with stutters all the time, constantly dying to people with no chance of fighting back, as my game would freeze as I was getting shot at. Bruv, no way. It was quite annoying, but this drove me to figure out a way to solve this problem, and through my searching, I found an effective way of fixing stutters and rust, so now, you guys don't have to worry about them anymore. In this video, I'm going to be showing you everything you can do to fix stutters and lag in rust, in just a few short steps, so you don't have to worry about losing your hard earned loot to a laggy game. Here we go. Alright, before we make any changes, you're going to want to set a Windows restore point, so if for some unforeseen reason, the setting changes slash advice they give in this video messes something up for you, you always have a save point to go back on. My first tip has to do with storage. There are many things which come into play when figuring out what is causing the stutters in your game. First of all, running Rust on a hard drive instead of an SSD. This isn't good, as the slower speeds that come along with the hard drive mean that your PC will take longer in loading screens, and can take longer to load in textures, causing stutters. Rust themselves even highly recommend an SSD on the Steam page. I would double check to make sure that even if you do have an SSD, that Rust is actually installed on it, and if it isn't, you can easily relocate the game's files using Steam. My second tip has to do with RAM. You should ideally have decently performing RAM slash memory installed in your system, as this can make a huge difference to stutters. I would say 90% of stuttering issues have to do with your RAM, whether it's BIOS settings or the hardware itself. This is because RAM is what feeds your CPU crucial data when it needs it fast, huh? such as loading in bases while running around, or loading in bullets and players during a fight. Rust recommends 16GB of RAM to run the game, and though they don't specify a speed, I would say GDR4 RAM with a speed of 2400MHz plus is pretty much necessary. Another common issue to do with your RAM, which I personally came across, was running my RAM at an incorrect speed. This can be problematic, as clocking the RAM too high can cause instability, and clocking it too low can cause performance issues, again causing instability. Inside of the computer's BIOS, you can adjust your RAM speed and enable settings such as XMP. Without doing this, the RAM runs at a default speed, usually far lower than the RAM is rated for. Enabling XMP usually will set the RAM to its intended speed, though sometimes the clock the RAM is intended to run at exceeds what the CPU is rated to handle, causing issues. I personally have my RAM, which is rated for 4000 MHz, down to 3600. My reasoning for this is though the RAM can take the increased speed, Intel specifies that my CPU is designed to handle only 3200 MHz, so lowering the RAM speed a bit actually improved the stability of my game tremendously. So I recommend setting your RAM to a low speed where you have no issues with stutters, and slowly increasing the speed until you start to see issues, so you are making sure that you are running your RAM at the highest stable speed possible. My third tip is following my FPS improvement guide. I know FPS is different to stutters, though in my FPS guide I actually show many Windows settings and in-game settings that can help with the stability of your game, so I would really recommend following the advice given in that video, alongside anything I say in this video, to maximize your results and also help your game run smoother. My fourth tip is setting good launch options. Launch options are a way of making automatic changes to how the game runs every time you launch it, so you don't have to make them manually in the game's console and you can also set certain parameters to how Steam and Windows handle the game. Alright, now I'll show you how to actually set your launch options. You want to open up Steam, right click on Rust, go to Properties, and right here you'll see Launch Options. You want to copy the launch options from my description and just paste them in. And you'll see right here, the Threads, Cores, and if you go to the left, the Max Memory should actually correspond with your computer. It, you shouldn't just paste it in and copy whatever I have there. You see I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, and I have 14 cores, and 20 logical processors. So that means I should put around 16,000, just a bit less, in memory. And I should put my 14 cores, and 20 logical processors here. And that's all you gotta do, and the launch options are set, just like that. In the list of launch options is a change to Rust Memory Garbage Collection System, which can cause small freezes as it clears the memory every 128 megabytes, which is the default buffer size. Increasing gc.buffer from the default value of 256 to 2048 
means the small freezers will happen far less as it will take longer to fill up the buffer, meaning it won't have to clear itself as often, meaning less stutters to you. My fifth tip is to do with background apps. There are many things in Windows that can affect performance and stability of your game. One thing is useless apps running in the background, leeching resources. To fix this, simply put background apps in the Windows directory search and turn off all the applications that you don't use or don't want running in the background. Doing this will hopefully free up some storage and resources and keep performance more stable. If you're still having issues with your Rust having stutters, I have a few final options you can try, starting with updating graphics drivers. Old graphics drivers can cause problems with the game, causing instability and a hit to performance, so making sure they're always updated is good practice. If you haven't updated them in a while, I would recommend doing a complete reinstall, which you can find countless tutorials showing you how to do so, whether you have an NVIDIA card or AMD card on YouTube. I would also try verifying my Rust files to see if there are any duplicate or even corrupt game files causing you issues. It is not uncommon to see a few things pop up if you haven't verified your files in a while, so it's definitely worth doing. Finally, if you've done all these things and still are having issues, it's probably a good idea to try reinstalling Rust. Sometimes verifying files cannot fix the issue, huh? as it's not a foolproof way of fixing your game. Reinstallation is basically the more annoying, but more complete way of verifying all your game's files. In conclusion, there are quite a lot of possible causes for stutters and rust, but hopefully this video helped you get through all of them, and you won't have to worry anymore about your game freezing in your next big PvP battle. If it did work for you, I would really appreciate a comment and a sub in exchange for my help. I try to keep the videos as short and dense as possible, so your precious time isn't wasted on pointless filler, so I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.